Hi everyone! In today's video, we'll be discussing how to never waste material ever again. Now, for what I do for one-offs, or sometimes the customers supply the material, is I've designed my very own logo that I will engrave on the back. And I'm just showing different details here. You really need to be careful about what you're engraving and the size that you're going to do it at. Now these are examples of just if you were doing black and white. And below here, I'm going to show you how grayscale is important. So if you're doing a photograph or you've got a design, take your logo and make some of the objects in variants of black. So here, for example, I've got the maple leaf and instead of using the 10%, which is the lightest, which never shows up, I made it like the 20% value. The hearts have started at the 30, the 40, the you know, and so forth, until the lettering itself is 100% black. I could have added a gradient fade to the lettering as well, but I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So here I am just exporting it as a PNG to be able to use in Laser Gerbil or you can be using it in Lightburn as well. I'm going to be engraving in Laser Gerbil today because this is all I ever use. I never have any issues with it. So I'm just going to turn the black and white box off because we've got some gray scales. Now sometimes with your photographs or illustrations, your white clip will brighten it up. In this case, I actually have to slide my contrast button over to whiten the background to make sure that that's not engraving any colors whatsoever. So I've got my smooth set on. I have my diagonal is my favorite setting, seven lines per millimeter, and I will click on next. So when I was just doing straight black and white on some pine, I had it at 800. I'm going to put this up to about 1600. I'm going to lower this down to about 750 auto size it because I just want it a little bit over two and a half inches and there you go when it comes up make sure you see some gradients in there so that you know you definitely turned off the black and white now when you're engraving if you're finding it's going too dark lower that power while it's engraving if you notice it's too light you can either up the power or you can slow down the linear or slow down the rapid. And again, just clicking these little boxes over here puts it back at its default settings. So I'm just going to connect the machine here. So I could frame that, but I'll just quickly review that if you're going to jog your laser into any other position for your engraving to start, so if you've moved your laser with the arrow keys here, make sure you click on the set origin, which is the globe button right there. And if you're just starting from the home button, home, make sure you click on home. And if that origin button is lit up again, make sure you click on that to make sure you're starting from the home position. And you may have noticed I have a circular framing button. So I've included the link in the description where you can go and download your own custom buttons. So I'm focusing my laser at the moment and here I am framing. Now when I'm done framing and before I start to engrave, I will always click on the home button to make sure that the origin is back to zero, zero. Just in case if something goes wrong, I can restart it exactly from the home position and fix anything if I had to fix anything. So I'm starting to engrave and I'm really impressed with my Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro. Uh, this lettering is very tiny and the precision of it is just fantastic. So there was a quick shot of my exhaust. I have a six inch exhaust and there is my air tank filter that I use for my air assist. And if you actually look at my wires carefully, I have a thicker, longer zip tie tied to it as well to give them a little bit more durability that they're actually not hanging down too low and dragging on any of my work surface. So this is it finished. Now this is before I've sanded. So I just wanted to show you, yeah, you might have some charring, but 
Once you sand it, and I sanded it with an orbital sander at 220 grit sandpaper, and then I'll just brush it out either with a toothbrush or I have a firm paintbrush there. So I'll just zoom in here and you can see the differences in the grayscales. So if you wanted those actually lighter, again, you just use your slider tools. So if you do not have a grayscale logo or you just have a black and white logo, for subscribers only, if you would like to email me your logo, I will help you with adding some grayscale to it. Now, I'm just showing you here that if you were to email me a PNG, this is how I do it. I make it a, a little bit larger. It needs to be a clean copy. And uh, this is a software that uh, I can quickly trace any logo that you might send to me. Now, if I get an overwhelming response, I can't promise that I can do it for everybody, but I will try my best because I am a working sign shop as well right now. And uh, yeah, so that's how quickly I was able to trace a PNG. And I'll just show you on the wireframe there that it's now vector art, so it's line art. I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do and some uh, node editing. So on this portion, I just wanted to go over quickly what you need for laser engraving. Get yourself a good pair of glasses, a good exhaust fan. Now these are Canadian prices and I won't say what site it is, I'm sure you can figure it out. But I discovered afterwards I could have got the whole set a lot cheaper. And this is the commercial air pump that I use. And I just have it vented out my window. Now I have totally taken out this piece of the vent system because it does get clogged up quite quickly and I was cleaning it weekly. Um, so I just did away with it and I actually just use a margarine lid over the top of the front face um, when it's not in use. So if you're in the market and looking for a laser engraver or if you're looking to upgrade, I definitely recommend Ortur. This is their official page, ortour.net. There are other sites that do sell or tour, but I have seen a lot of people having some issues with them not receiving their lasers. And uh, these other sites are willing to take your money very quickly. But ortour.net, um, my order that came from China to my door in Ontario, Canada, took a total of 10 days. And their prices are actually better than some of the sites. So definitely go to ortour.net. And if you use the link in my description below, you will save 5% off of any of your purchases. And this is the laser I'm using right here, is the Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro S2 Laser. Yes, it's a mouthful, but you get all that included, except throw away those glasses. And uh, my laser is actually the, the LU2-4 laser. And I think actually my model of laser has been discontinued. Um, because I do not see it anymore for sale in the accessories. Um, there are bundles and you can save and you can pick. You have a short focus, a long focus, your 10 watt. Uh, I do suggest getting the Z height adjuster. It's just so much easier instead of having to use a screwdriver to uh, move your bolts and remove your shields. This is just a quick screw up and down. And of course the rotary roller, that's on my wish list for someday. Someday I'm going to get me one. So I'm just going to go quickly over some accessories that you can purchase for your lasers. So you have your engraving platforms. There's extension kits for their new Master 3 series, foldable legs. The extension kit for my Laser 2 Pro series, yes, that's on my wish list too, and it comes with all the wiring already done, because I do not claim on being an electrician. Now there is an enclosure available for the Ortur um, Laser Master 2 Pro. I don't recommend having one. A lot of the things I do are oversized, so that's why the extension kits make a lot more sense for me and I'm able to slide larger signs and boards or place the engraver right on top of any of the larger signs that I'm doing. And I thought I would shoot in a few pictures of some of the larger signs that I have completed to date. 
And as you can see, the laser does a beautiful job. And I really enjoy repurposing, so a number of these signs I have done with older hardwood skids. And if you can reduce, reuse, and recycle, hey, that's that's a good thing. So just quickly, back to the Otour.net site, I just wanted to show you with accessories, you can get your replacement lasers, upgrade your lasers, upgrade your boards, but most importantly, Otour has just launched their Master 3. And again, just throw out those glasses. But uh, that's definitely on my wish list as well. So finally, okay, this is my site on Facebook for subscribers only, Die Signs CDN. And uh, if you go to the site, click join. And under the more tab is the files that you are very welcome to download and use any way you want. So here's a slight preview of them all. Some are in grayscale, some are in black and white because I like to paint a number of things. These are PNG files, um, you're welcome to them. If uh, you have a vectorizer trace program, you can cut some of them as well. And I just wanted to say thank you for subscribing and supporting this Canadian gal. I really do appreciate it. And this sign as well, you can add GPS coordinates to. And finally, that's it for today. Thank you so much for your support, for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Now go get creating.